the eighth Sunday after Pentecost, year A. From the Epistle to the Romans, we know that all things work together for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. In the name of that God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week are all about God working out even the worst of our experiences into something better than we could have foreseen. A bit of yeast, leavening a whole loaf, a field worth selling everything to buy. Living into the kingdom means accepting the fact that God knows what's really going on, not just with us, but with the millions of other people and other factors around us. So with Jacob, God knows that Laban's deceitful, but God also knows which of the wives is going to be the ancestor of Moses and David and Jesus. It was the deceived husband and the unloved wife who produced out of a mustard seed of regard the great shrub of the Jewish people and their faith. The question then is not how to avoid calamity, but how within that calamity to sustain our search for the Lord and his strength, how to continually seek God's face, even when, particularly when, our situation seems the most dire. Our psalmist calls upon us to look back and remember the marvels God has done. And then Paul calls us to look forward, forward to a time when we who are now called will be justified and glorified by the God who advocates for us, even as he comes again to judge us. Who or what could separate us from such a God? This solidarity with us, this advocacy on our behalf, assures us that no matter what calamities befall us, no matter what boneheaded risks we take, God will find a way to bring good out of the mess we've made. We therefore do not hide from God's face in fear, but instead we seek it out in the faces of those around us. In the name of that God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.